Hello, this is Flickwit for Pocket Band Tutorials, and I plan to do a wobble demo on Pro Pocket Band. So, I'm gonna set this to 140. That's my preferred BPM for dubstep. I'm recording at a different location, so. I hope the background noise isn't too loud and the cats don't fight too loud. And uh, you can actually hear me clear, but I have also connected my cable directly to the computer this time, so the audio will also be fed out live. So. First, gonna choose a synthesizer. Mm, just do one, one basic key. And just choose the one that most people would probably choose. Sounds really faint. Let's see. Go back. doesn't sound faint anymore well I'm going to do the first easiest type of wobble and that's using the track molo and I'm just going to see what happens if we choose the triangle oh it's still still set on touch smart smart move um, well just going to listen how this sounds so we got an easy one just gonna copy this or clone it change this one into 8 instead of 4 and then it will sound like this so we you probably understand that you can go on with this, choose different wavelengths and such. Maybe combine two tromolas together and just destroy it entirely. <laughs> Whatever you feel like doing. Something like this. And let's make a new one. This is what we call the Tremolo example. Tremolo example. With a P. No, with an E and a P. No. Like this. Alright, new loop. New device. Let's use the bus lead. Let's see if I can get this maybe a bit closer. Louder. No problem, no problem. Gonna keep it easy by doing four, two, two, then four shorts, ones, 
one long one and a short one. That would probably sound like this. Yep, it's badass on its own. So we go to the piano roll, go to VCF cutoff, and you have the low and the high pass and you can do it like this have a look doesn't really look normal to me so I'll just check here it's long double singles double space single so we can do something like this and two short ones And this is something that a lot of people were wondering on how you do that. Make the really short ones because if you drag it here and then try to put it close to that, it will not go any further than this. But if you do it like this, you see there's nothing here. I press here and I release at that point so it will be further. And the same goes from here, as close as possible as close as possible you'll see how close that actually is you see that's pretty freaking close pretty freaking close um right pretty freaking close gonna do those pretty pretty freaking short and then when I'm pretty freaking done then I'm gonna be pretty freaking listening um this one we'll do like this and then we'll just press the render button right. sounds a bit soft maybe okay i'm gonna do the high pass now and notice the difference uh, you can just play around with this uh, maybe do something like this this is the go then do like this and maybe this and this doesn't no not like that maybe like this that should be very tasty and yeah we're ended up there gonna make it a little louder and do it like this go crazy just go crazy going so crazy look it's almost straight it's almost straight and this and how does it end here it's usually better if you if your last one is equal almost to the first one then you will not have the huge gap in a event happening while recording the, or while playing it let's listen <laughs> So we have the low and high, so we're going to play with that now. This is the same one, we'll use a different device, maybe the Halo. Go to VCF cutoff, change it from a high to a low pass, and just listen how it sounds. <laughs> Sounds pretty badass, doesn't it? Yeah, and I believe that's about it. This is going to be the VCF example. VCF, VCF. Cut example. Right. Um, I could maybe give you one more, let's see, it's going to, this is going to be number two, 
do something just so you can see what I mean when I say just play around with it not in a dirty way of course people with their dirty minds and something like choosing two and uh, choosing wait I'm just going to change it to English because then it will be probably be easier for most of the people watching uh, Changing again. Yes, I want to restart again. Hmm. Didn't put the closing thing there. Oh, it didn't save the rename. Let's rename it again. This will be. Uh, VCF. Cut off sample. Clone this one. Display it so it saves. Nice. This will be example number two. Stop messing around, cat. So, copy this or clone it, whatever, and change the tremolo to let's say going from left up, so up. And this one is the bottom one, I believe. It's editing. Always lose track of one which one I'm doing and then we'll do this one the other way around from saw down and just play it okay that's not the right sound for that because it will just not play anything so we have to see Which one? Right. I don't think there's much more I can actually say about this. Um, what I tried to do on one of my personal songs um, is to record something with the recorder and then use the techniques for the tremolo to actually uh, change the recording and use it as a wobble so that may be something you can play around with once you get the hang of this uh, stuff I'm going to uh, put this one out as an example as well so you can actually uh, look inside and uh, copy it and just reproduce it and it will have lots of ch children and stuff like that. So, I don't know how long the video is going to be. I hope it's not too long. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, this is Fliquid for Pocket Band Tutorials. Bye.